Hello everybody, Titanus and Furnace here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing kind of a reptile room update on everything that's new and everything that's changed. Uh, let me turn that light off up there. Uh, first off in here we have the leopard gecko. Um, she's been named, her name is Cecilia, and she's looking absolutely wonderful and uh, over the past few months I've been working with her and she's pretty tamed down, less inclined to bite me, um, will tolerate being handled, and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing really much has changed about this since the last time, except she's here in the 20 hour long. Um, just got a basic red heat lamp. As you can see, it's all red, um, moist hide. I got some sphagnum moss, put in that in there. Little rock that she likes to hang out on, which I should probably move it over here. Like right under here, that way it's soaking up heat. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go, now it's basking rot. There's a cactus back here in that corner and then two plants. Then that, that's about all. She eats really large mealworms now. Now over here is a 10 gallon tank that I've just had sitting around unused. And I've put down some eco earth. Let's what's on the bottom. As you can see, um, put down some sphagnum moss, which I've been misting down, trying to keep humidity up. I might have to get some plexiglass to cover this over, the screen top over, which I just picked up yesterday. I put Rexar in here yesterday, last night. And if you're wondering where he is, Happens to be uh, right there. Very okay. Let me actually move some shit out of the way. Okay, where is he? Ah, there you go. That's his face. Right there. So yeah, he's in a 10 gallon tank now, instead of up here in this... Wait, let me grab this light. Instead of being up here in this, he now has this down here. Which, moving up on into this 5.5 gallon, our tiny resident is right there, right next to that leaf there, right at the edge of my finger. Little tiny froggle. Ah, uh, there you go. You can kind of see him. Little spring peeper baby. Right there. Anyway, moving along, we're moving out of reptiles and amphibians and into my still limited collection of fish. I have in this five gallon bow two Razabora hets. That's what they're called at least. Um, basic conclusure, it's just some water, some plants. No really decorations or hides or anything. They don't need it, I suppose. In here we have all of my remaining baby guppies. Which right there is a male. Um, two males and two females. That's. I only have the babies. You can see the two males right there. They hang out together. There's a female there. And then... 
That's a female there. Yeah, they're in a 10 gallon tank uh, with a rock, a rock, and then a scattering of plants all around. Currently, though, there's nothing in that tank and that tank. However, in here we have my favorite fish. It's my albino. Uh, I'm albino rainbow shark. I, I it's my favorite fish out of all of my fish. Cause I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. So, and it's an albino. Sadly, the weather loach and adult guppy have both passed away. And yeah, that's currently about all. I can get out my uh, lizards and show them to you a bit better. So in here we have Cecilia. Now she bit me earlier today. I'm gonna chase her out of there. So I can set that back down. Got her. Here we go. There she is. I'll bring her down here into some better light. She just shed like yesterday. So she's, her colors are really bright. And now she's run off. Like always. Mm. Now I'll have to catch her. I myself am no longer sure as to where she went. Oh, there she is. Thinking she's all sneaky. Come on. You think you're sneaky, don't you? You're not sneaky. I can see you perfectly well. Actually, there's perfectly good lighting over here. There you go. Her tail's nice and orange again. Okay, she's just content to run away. And hey, you guys get to watch Blue Gravel. Whilst I catch her and put her back in. Actually. Here, she bit me. There you go. Although I did stick my finger in her mouth for her to bite me. I don't think she's discovered her wet hide yet. Anyway, I think the ama most amazing part about my lizards, is they can get on top of the cactus and not stab themselves while doing it. Unlike us clumsy humans. Alright. Best way to get it is here. No idea. Okay, you guys just see that.
really need to bend that a little bit so that it fits on better. Once again, we'll move over to here. And here you go. You get to see my largest lizard. Because Rexar is technically my largest lizard and he's also very fast and skinny and not cooperating. Here, stare at her. I have a lizard. Naughty. You naughty little. But yes, very beautiful lizard. I think he wants to eat them. I'll move over to the window. But if you wanted to see how, like, truly massive he is, there you go. Got a really long tail. I believe last time I measured him, it was 14 inches long. That was just last time. Once again, you guys get to see the Jekyll on the cat. So I think that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the updates and stuff to my animal room. And ciao.